who is going to make the presentation of the National Registry of Historic Places Award to the Lake Michigan Car Ferry and the SS Badger this morning. Dr. Bill Anderson is a friend of Ludington, an advocate of Ludington. He was a former president of the West Shore Community College for many, many years. He's a historian and author of many historic books. He's the founding director of the Michigan Department of History, Arts, and Libraries. He's a former cabinet member of both Governor Grant, Granholm and, or, I'm sorry, former Governor John Engler and current Governor Jennifer Granholm. Dr. Bill has championed many projects. We are always honored when he sets steps up and wants to be on one of our committees. He is again a friend of Ludington. I'd like to introduce Dr. Bill Anderson. Thank you, Mayor. The rites of spring are heralded in a variety of ways throughout Michigan and the nation, and I believe that each one of those is a touch point that connects us with a history that is still unfolding. For those who were the first settlers in Mason County and in Ludington, certainly the rite of spring was the spring thaw that took thousands of pine logs cascading down the Pier Marquette River to the Sorting Gap on their way to the sawmills. That exciting event was followed by those living in the Ludington area hearing the sound of saw missile, sawmill will, whistles heralding the beginning of a new year and the industrial season. On May 24, 1912, another new rite of spring was inaugurated when the umpire cried out, play ball. And the Ludington Mariners, our professional baseball team, had their inaugural season at Culver Park down at the waterfront. Yet easily the most defining and enduring statement of the beginning of spring in Ludington is to hear that resounding blare of the horn of the badger as she glides out through the channel and into the open waters of Lake Michigan to begin another cross lake car ferry season between Michigan and Wisconsin. It is easily recognizable to see a common thread through all of these rites of spring which I have exampled. Nothing defines better Ludington's sense of place than its presence on the Big Lake. It is, it is and has been the epicenter of economic and community development, yet its significance continues today primarily because of the sailing of the SS Badger. Take a moment and think about the longevity of businesses in Ludington. Tick off the familiar names and then you are quickly reminded that except for a brief interruption, car ferries and now the Badger sailed out of this port since 1897 or 113 years. Being a historian, I often catch myself imagining what would it be like to live at an earlier time in history. Maybe some of you are nostalgic like I am. One of those historic flashbacks for me is that I would be living in 1930 and I would be down here at the waterfront when the Pier Marquette fleet numbered nine vessels. Think about a busy commercial airport by comparison where an air traffic controller controls inbound and outbound flights. That same responsibility and that same function was happening right here where somebody in the harbor was actually determining that an inbound car ferry or more would be held in a holding position until a slip opened because another car ferry was sailing out on its way to Wisconsin. Wow, that's big time. Think about the largest car ferry fleet in the world sailing out of our port here in Ludington, Michigan. Much has changed down through the years, but the one constant remains, and that is our car ferry legacy as portrayed by the Badger in late May, sailing off to the west, heading toward Wisconsin. All institutions in all communities seek to have distinctiveness and they mark that defining character of community. Being a port for this port of entry for the state of Michigan and knowing that the Lake Michigan Car Ferry Service transports thousands and thousands of visitors, some from far distant points, I believe connects us to a much larger world. It is a dynamic for this community that is significant. 
For those who cherish this vessel, we recognize that it is truly unique, for it is the last of its kind that is still sailing. It is a testament, I believe, to enterprising leadership and the superb engineering and manufacturing that developed the coal-fired steam propulsion system of this ship. In 1996, the Badger's propulsion system was designated a mechanical engineering landmark by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. 1997 was particularly memorable. The Badger was named a registered Michigan historical site by the Michigan Historical Commission. In 1997, the same designation came registered as a Wisconsin historical site by the Wisconsin Historical Commission. In 1997 again, Lake Michigan Car Ferry Service was designated a Michigan Centennial Business by the Historical Society of Michigan. And in 2002, this ship was elevated to national status when the Badger was named Ship of the Year by the Steamship Historical Society. And today we celebrate yet another major recognition for this vessel at the national level being placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the Department of Interior. Bob Manglitz, Don Klingen, and Jim Anderson own the Badger, but those of us who cherish that grand vessel own it spiritually. I don't care what it says on the ship registry, she belongs to us. When family and friends who have been house guests drive away from our home, we stand on the porch or the front stoop and wave goodbye. Many of us who live in this community know the sailing times of the Badger and we position ourselves down here or along the North Pier so that we have an opportunity to see that grand vessel glide out of the port on its way to Wisconsin. The fact that so many of us wave hello and welcome, or wave goodbye to absolute strangers is very special. That personal connection with our living history of car ferries and the Badger tells me that that history and that ship is ingrained in the soul of our community. Now it's my pleasure to ask owner Bob Manglitz to join me at the podium. Bob, we are so proud of what you and your team have achieved in preserving this fantastic historical ship. Here is the plaque. The SS Badger is listed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior, 2009. I just wanted to say a couple words and, you know, for a business that's gone on over a hundred years, the management of those companies had to make a lot of really good, wise decisions. And I want you to know that yesterday, I spent 15 minutes right where you folks are, trying to determine where this stage should be. And it was finally determined it would be here, rather than there, so the sun would not be in our eyes, okay? <laughs> and I was told the sun was going to be over there. So, we have a lot of fun. On, on behalf of Jim Anderson, Don Klingen, and myself, all the Lake Michigan Car Ferry employees, um, all of the community people that have supported us and do have a sense of ownership, and John, truly the city has always supported us. Um, we're standing on their stage today. But they have always supported us, and I've thought many times, you know, there's going to be a whole different community on that boat today, and I've had people say, how often do you ride the Badger? I said about about once a week. They said, don't you get bored? I said, no, every time you get on that boat, there's an exciting little community on that boat, and they're, they're having fun. And I, as I was sitting on the stage, I was thinking back, wow, that's been going on a hundred years. And, and we are all very honored and very pleased to accept this award, and I thank you very much for coming this morning. Thank you.